Hi, the objective of this video is to show the functionalities of the website medbooklet.com that is also accessible through those two uh, websites name also. So it targets two uh, complementary uh, audiences, the clients and patients at home that can search for medical clinics or health services. They can add you know, their personal list of all the clinics and health services they do business with. Um, add appointments, keep history, of course, of their appointments and health events. As the name suggests, okay, it's, it's see it as a kind of booklet where you would keep in one place all your information, all your resources that you, you need, all appointments, everything. So for, or you see some child, even in some countries, it's compulsory to have a booklet of all vaccines, for example, and to keep track of the appointments, you know, the, the weight progression, etc. So just imagine the same thing. Okay, well, in fact, it is it. So, and but it continue all your life, and uh, it's very convenient if you have many uh, places where you go uh, for your health. So it keeps track of everything in one place, and targets a lot of functionalities for uh, health service administrators for appointments. Instead of reading it, we'll show it uh, uh, visually. Um, and go back in the next minute after that to see uh, all the functionalities for the, uh, the patients at home. So as you can see, uh, we can manage uh, appointments for many uh, practitioners at the same time. So if I would choose, for example, Dan Donnelly, it would have a different schedule than uh, Caroline Lemieux. So for someone that is at home, it would see only the free period here where we could schedule themselves from home and appointments. Uh, the, the clinic, uh, if they don't want to expose this uh, schedule, they can still, you know, take uh, uh, phone calls and create themselves here the, uh, the appointments. Okay, so they can also uh, move very easily an appointment in the, I could do it also in the month view, day view. So now I have the week view. Uh, we can have also a uh, list format where we are able to export in Excel. So we'll see this in a kind of workflow uh, in a uh, in few minutes, okay? So let's first simple patients, you know, what are the services? First, if you don't have an account, you can still use uh, this website and it has advantages uh, also for, even if you don't have an account because you can search for any health services or clinics, you know, in your areas first. It's more in Montreal and Quebec now, but it will get larger in Canada and eventually maybe in other places in the world. So uh, you, you can search by criteria here. Uh, for example, medical clinics that have the name of Westmount, for example. So you can search in the service name. You can show it in Google Map, for example, in area of 20 kilometers. And let's say search here. So you would see those two places have the name West Mount in it. If you click, you have the information about it as uh, uh, omnis, you know, med, med, general meds, you know, 20 and specialist 21 and all the other services they have. You have the phone number, etc. So you can search also for uh, uh, all type, you know, of not only medical clinics, but let's say even pharmacies if you want. So we go there. Even if I don't type a name, for example, I show it in Google Map. So you see all the pharmacies here. So I could go there and see the information. I could also show it, for example, in uh, not in Google Map and just do a search, for example. And let's add it, for example, uh, this one to my pr personal list because now I have an account. So if I have an account, I'm able to add it to my personal list. Okay. And the first things you have is, for example, if you, when you arrive on the site, if you don't have an account, it will just mention it to you that you don't have an account, but you can still search here for the services. But the fictive clinic I have here, I can take an appointment online. But if even if this clinic is not linked to us, you can still write, you know, an appointment. So it's it's just that it's deconnected. What is the advantage, for example, of doing this instead of taking the little card they give you, it's at your dentist, just remember, first it's that you have a reminder 
and also you keep it in one place and you have all the history also of your events let's say when you go in your appointment list you would have maybe hundreds here in maybe in the, the next 10 years and you have all your vaccines history especially for your kids but even for you it's interesting okay and each time even for a person even if you're not an administrator you have access to your own calendar here so so there is also a little part here on health info it's uh, it's still in construction it's, uh, english and french here all the websites information for local resources it's better than to google because you will have i will add also for regional stuff uh, regional here so uh, very soon and so it gives all uh, information local here for local resources uh, let's see uh, santé canada info santé quebec uh, new brunswick etc and you have also uh, general uh, knowledge uh, websites like webmd very known well known let's see when you position here you see that you have a small explication and a rating also and it says if it's french or english and uh, so let's see if you click there so you will uh, you will arrive directly on the website okay so you can go and just let's say for example like acupuncture.com and you search information about that so everything that is health related so in one place you have everything your appointment health information where if you have urgency urgent santé quebec uh, everything so appointment the search so pretty much everything your profile you can write there for example my vaccines again even if you keep it in your appointments you can write you know more important information here and it's encrypted by the way clinical note and the the, uh, uh, the the clinic also has uh, his own clinical note that you can see but you have your own that the clinics cannot see okay so you have your profile here so let's go back uh, by the way you can contact us also at any time here you can uh, if you don't remember where is this this video you can can click here and you have the phone number you have the uh, the email address you have what is the websites for administrators the function everything just what i just said okay so let's go and <clears throat> go back as an administrator you have here the list view of all appointments okay this is past appointments here uh, we have all coming appointments of course it's a fictive clinic so i don't have a lot now and it's it's only test you know uh, test appointments so here is the calendar view so in green here you have you know all free periods because I'm registered as uh, an online uh, appointment uh, clinic but I could also work as not using the online appointments or a hybrid between the two okay so I can do whatever I want okay so it's 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 depends the way I want to configure myself it's the same thing for the duration of the period you see here the calendar is divided in 10 minutes you could do it even in five minutes or half an hour or an hour okay just for the purpose of the demo I put one hour here in split it you know in six periods of 10 minutes so um, you have all the statuses here the confirm for example for this one this one is scheduled so the difference between schedule and confirm is that confirm uh, let's say you take an appointment very far in the times but few days before you want to do a process of confirming just so that the person remembers you know that it has to come okay so it uh, it's all color coded you have requested also we'll, we'll do it right now okay so let's say as a, a user because now even if i'm an admin i'm also a user okay usually you should not really do that but for the sake of the demo i think it's good to show it this way so that i don't have to disconnect and reconnect and it gets confusing so let's go and i have a clinic which is uh, it's it's already in my list as the online appointment and the other one is disconnected but you can still you know write your appointment but it will be just in your outlook personal outlook or gmail this one has both it will be in your personal outlook gmail apple etc but at the same time it's connected with the clinic okay so let's go back i go there and as uh, someone at home now okay i said i want to do an appointment online so i choose you know the, the practitioner now it's a podiatrist 
Caroline Lemieux, so I access his own schedule. So you see now as someone at home, I see only the free schedule. I don't see because I'm not as an administrator now. You know, it's like if I'm a standard user. So let's go and I want one for Friday. So I would write, you know, all the, deti the details. Let's see if it's for one of my child. If I uh, want to add another child, I would just have to add it here and the list would be updated automatically. Okay, let's see, it's for my child, Philip. So I would write the reason, for example, first appointment, and blah, blah, blah. I have, uh, for example, a reference from my personal doctor, okay, etc. So I'm a reference, okay. So by default, I always receive an email. And if I want an electronic card also to be sent, I can click also. And I do send and save. And that's it. So the clinic will be uh, automatically uh, warned about it. Okay. So let's see. I connect again as an administrator. So you see now it's in yellow. Okay. I didn't have any requested one before. If you remember, there was no yellow. So same thing in calendar here, it's the same view. So let's go there and I could review it. So I see here what the person at home just typed me, all the information. If I want to verify some stuff, ask more information, I have already his information here. So I can phone him. So let's see, okay, now it's a request, but I decide to accept it. So I schedule it and I do save confirm me that it's saved so now you see the color change as schedule okay so it's very very convenient okay so let's say as an administrator also this is fine because someone you know did it himself from home but let's say you continue to receive very often phone calls so let's say and you want to create someone just for you so you just have to click on the free period. It could be also a blank period. Let's say if you are far in the time and you want to expose, you know, your schedule, you know, as a, as a green, you know, periods. So you just want to receive it by call. You, you could do it also. So now it will be uh, scheduled as soon as you, you take uh, an appointment by phone. Let's say to Jean Poulain, for example, so the med is really pre-selected because I already had Caroline Lemieux selected. If I had chosen another practitioner, it will be pre-selected here. So you have the description. So as uh, <clears throat> our phone call, uh, we, I scheduled an appointment blah 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 okay so same <clears throat> for the description so the, the same thing for the subject you, you could ask to bring some stuff don't forget to bring anything okay or so if you want to send again let's see include a contact card or include the calen calendar invitation this is by the way it's it's will be attachment in the email which is uh, international standard so any Gmail or Microsoft Outlook or Apple whatever it will be able to read those files as you will see so let's say save and send email so if we for example refresh here so we see that the appointment is now scheduled okay let's go back in as my admin first okay this one it's linked to my Gmail account, okay, just for the sake of the demo. Okay, so you see here I received the first appointment. I don't know if you remember exactly what I've written. First appointment, la reference from my personal doctor, you see. And I have my contact here uh, card. And I also have my international, you know, calendar file here. So I could download it and use it in my, let's say, Outlook or if I click it, here it will be included in my Google Calendar okay so but let's go back here and we'll see also that the other one that we used that we scheduled here 
uh, is linked to Jean Poulain here, which used in fact my Hotmail address. Okay, just to show you that it works also with Microsoft. So if we go and just this is my <coughs> one of my uh, test email account. Okay, so you can see here that I just received an email. Okay, that an appointment has been created for me. And you see here I have my contact card and I have my calendar. It's just to prove you that I don't have any appointment here in those days and for example in my contacts I don't have my fictive fictive year I don't have any clinic by this name okay in my contacts but let's see there I go in the contact so this is the contact I do save and close same thing here for the calendar it says yeah it's exactly the date I've chosen yeah I have the information if there was a recurrence here I would have it also because I can have an appointment let's see every week for three weeks it would be there okay so save and close okay so and if we go back there now I search for fictive so you see now I have a card of all the information of the clinic so in my personal my personal information system so it's really you know it's a way to really to do a, a link you know with your clients and the, the clinic okay so same thing for the mail here if you go the calendar here so you would see that it's it should be there on so you see here it's really there it's the, the exactly the description you know I've given so one very important things is that to show you is that with, with the list view that we have here it's very convenient for export in Excel for example and also just to see for example just the confirmed one or just the expired or free one or requested okay the next action I will do for example all appointment except the free one will go in Excel instead of going to the li list here you see it generated an Excel here so if we click here it opens Excel and I have all the appointments of, on my clinics with all the information about the, 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 the clients okay so it's very convenient to do statistics or accounting or whatever you see or just to plan your, your day some people like papers and so or Excel so you have it and you can display in calendar view uh, one last thing is to show you we, there is a uh, something very useful is that there's a lot of time passed on confirmation of appointments let's say you take an appointment three months six months in advance when you are a few days before or a week before you you sometimes you have an operation of you know, ping pong back and forth you know phone calls to be able to confirm you know appointments let's do it for example for Jean Poulain here okay we could do it from here but personally I like more to do it in the list view for this type of action so let's go there and say send confirmation for Jean Poulain for example okay so it just sent an email but it, it didn't change the color even if I refresh because of course the person has to receive the email let's say he will just read his email in two hours let's say in maybe just at the evening and when you received it let's go and in my outlook for example and I will force the refresh of this test uh, mailbox so yes I received it so the system sent it to me so I go there and you see this is a reminder that you have an appointment important please confirm your button by clicking here so I click I confirm here so you see confirmation here okay so it's in French but I think yeah okay because this browser it used another browser and this browser was in French before so because you notice that the application here is French and English okay but the last time I used it on the Internet Explorer it was set up as French so I could go there and put it in French and it's at 99% you know translated so if we go back it's the last thing we'll show we go there and display calendar view for example you see that now it's in blue so everything is confirmed so you saw you know all the process that it's linked with your your customers your clients or patients and the patients also have you know an integrated you know system so it's very convenient so uh, if you 
still want to contact us so you have the information here so just have to contact us that this uh, address here uh, eventually I will have also info at uh, at the med uh, uh, med booklet and also healthnotebook.com so uh, thank you very much and hope to hear from you soon